Contest consisting of six five minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my right and in the blue corner, the British mid heavyweight champion, Mike Marino. His opponent, on my left and in the red corner, the Southern England heavyweight champion from Portsmouth, Big Bruno Ellerington. Well, Mike Judd, our master of ceremonies for the afternoon's program, just gets out of the ring. Max Ward, the referee, stays in for the main bout of the afternoon at heavyweight, of course. Mike Marino, 14 stone 13 versus... Uh, the big man from Portsmouth, Bruno Errington. Big Bruno is his build now in the full leotard, the black bandage on the elbow, and of course the black tights and white boots, which we'll see later. Two falls to decide this one, two submissions or a knockout. First round. Six rounds and the best of three. Now Mike Perino, once again, as he so often say about him, what a master technician he is, but he always gives away so much weight. And here he's giving away a ridiculous amount. Four stone, 13 pounds. He's just under 15 stone, and Bruno Ellington, this man, is 19 stone 12. So if Mike Marino can stay with this big man from Portsmouth, and no weight problems will ever worry him until he meets possibly Haystacks, Karen Haystacks or Big Daddy. Japanese triangle hole there by uh, Orrington. Just trying to smother Marino's skill by this sheer weight. And of course he's quite right to do it. Again smothering by the strength holes, the four Nelson. Well, that's a way out if you can do it. Marino gets out clear. That's what the object of the exercise. And this, of course, is the one that the packed crowd here at the Woodville Hall, Gravesend, has been waiting for. Because there's every possibility that Mike Marino, still a mid heavyweight, of course, the British mid heavyweight champion, might one day have a chance at the heavyweight title held now by Gwyn Davies. Uh, that's the boat I would love to see on television if possible. The double ends work there again. More tattoos here on Ellington, of course. Forearms, upper arms, and chest. Don't think there are any on his back. Couple of minutes left in this first round of six. Number two falls to the side. Double arm now. Nice, nice bit of wrestling, except that he lost one arm on the way. So doesn't always go for just the strength holes. Wellington. Neat move there that nearly caught Marino. Oh, 
to go, and Marino walks in the red side headlock. Paddock. And Marino still in the same hold. This referee, Max Ward, knows uh, the tricks of Bruno Orrington very well. He'll be watching pretty closely. Side head chance for Marino coming out with, but again the ropes break. Oh, that's uh, not very often one sees that. Handshake with Orrington agreeing to do it. Ten seconds. Well, the step over toe hold, but it won't do him any good because the bell will save Mike Marino much trouble. Here. Again, a very sporting handshake between the two men. There he is, Mike Marino, Italy's golden boy. I don't know what's left really to say about this man because I don't think there's anybody in the ring today of any weight that could outclass him pound for pound. He's really, in my opinion, possibly the finest wrestler in the business today. Mike Marino, the mid-heavyweight champion of Great Britain, and except for the Americans don't always agree with it, the world. Second out, round two. Round two, five rounds to go. No score, two falls, two submissions for a knockout to decide. Marino in the trunks versus Elrington of Portsmouth. Marino caught in the arm lock at the moment. But instead of going around over the top of the very big man from Portsmouth to get rid of that arm lock, he dives to the canvas and throws him off. That's uh, very seldom you see that. Caution a backhammer this time, though, Mike. Resisting 19 stone 12, trying to break it. It doesn't really the difference in height there. Mike Marino's balanced legs in a position that lowers him considerably. But the double interlock still on, and far too far over. Far too far over the knees. Never hold Mike Marino down from there. It takes Mike Marino with his strength all this time to throw this guy. He was trying to shake hands, he said, when he went up me and threw me in the ropes. In fact, he was, actually, but Mike didn't spot it. Well, it's all uh, settled now, anyway. Referee gets to two, just Mike just lifts the shoulder blade off and pulls in with the old foot trick. A couple of minutes left in round two. And we just see the old gentleman in the third row who was uh, hit by Clive Myers dive outside the ring over the top rope in the last bout. Back 
not in his original position with a plaster on his head, but he's quite all right. And St. John's ambulance man, uh, quite satisfied. It's superficial. But that could have been a little bit nasty. Oh, no. Doctor! In case, of course, you've joined us since the last bout at the start of this one, perhaps. Five Myers came out over the top rope in the first bout of this afternoon's program into the third row of the ringside seaters. No, no, no. One minute to go. We know it's always having trouble with reach. Because how can you reach a man of this height? Double wrist lock now to Big Bruno Arrington. said break it up. Finally he gets his order noticed. But Max Ward, a referee that's not going to stand too much of that. Ten seconds. Marino just sliding out of the backhammer on the way there and on the bell. from Portsmouth, six foot four inches, 19 stone 12 of him. The former professional heavyweight boxer had 15 fights as a pro. Turned pro wrestler in the early 60s and runs a gymnasium in Portsmouth. Keeps up physical culture training with a lot of the young newcomers. Second out, round three. Round three, four rounds to go, and still no sign of any score in this heavyweight contest. Our main bout this afternoon here at the Woodville Hall Gravesend. Marino in the trunks there. Taking a battering from the Giants from Portsmouth. Bruno Arrington. Again, the double wrist lock backhand position by Arrington. Back to the wrist lever. Arm lever against the joint with it. Arrington's starting a few of his illegal moves on the ropes now. Haven't seen them so far, but that's... That's more the Arrington we're used to. I was hoping he might get through a whole boat here without it, but... Um, that doesn't look a good sign. Really going for that Marino left arm all the time now, Arrington. And he's got it again. Yes, I'm missing the ass for the rest of the won't let him go. He should let him go on a submission immediately. Mike Jodder, MC. Ladies and gentlemen, in uh, round three, the first submission to Big Bruno Elrington. And he did not let go when Mike Marino submitted immediately in that left. There's the Duchess, the famous Duchess. Everybody calls the Duchess. She's always at every wrestling show, dressed exactly like she is there, whatever time of day it is. Very big wrestling fan, I feel. So three rounds to go, and any second, Mike Romino will have to go ahead with round four. Second out, round four. Now, can he keep that left arm away from Bruno? In 
to lock on, but off again. And even Max Ward almost tripped up there on the neutral corner on the right as the big man hit the corner post. That's one. Lean back on the other, but doubt if we get a submission from it. No, just a week now. And the crowd really going on. This might be, you know, show signs of coming back. Left knee trouble, Bruno. Yeah. Again, Marino going for the left leg. Yes. The sun assault with the toe hold on. Covington trying to shake hands again. Doesn't like this sudden burst of Marino coming back into it at all. He thought he had the bout weighed up. dangerous thing to think when you're fighting a man like Mike Marino, of course, whatever weight you are. Again, the Mike Marino left arm caught in the backhammer. Uh, that follow-up quite illegal, and so is that. We'll get a public warning for that, for sure. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has given his first public warning to Bruno Well, he certainly asked for it. And Marino, a little angry. I hope he hasn't lost his cool completely here. Much rather see him try and wrestle his way out of it as we know he can. But that left arm against the joint again. And more illegal use of the ropes. <laughs> and on the ropes so finally he breaks it a double interlock again leading to holding to grabbing the left arm and again the ropes and Marino trying to grapevine his way out of it, but couldn't stop himself going into the ropes then. Again, pulling back on the left arm. That one legal, perfectly legal, because he was part of the same move, but if he does it again, no. And Mike, I'm afraid, now just a little bit getting the needle. Again, the arm lever holding the elbow right against the joint. One minute to go in the fourth. And Marina really turning that foot now. Trying to get an easy equalizing submission. Foot of Owens has really turned around there, as you saw. Half a minute left. And again, Marino goes for the left foot. Five seconds to go. looking a little astonished there because that uh, submission attempt by his opponent to make it 2-0 win was uh, not let go when the bell went and he can't quite understand it that's why he's asking the referee why it was allowed to go on after the bell 
perfectly in time to do, of course. Directly a bell goes that you release every hole or possible submission hole, especially right on the bell, not a split second afterwards, because they could do some damage. Now Camerino come back in two rounds. Second out, round five. Still Bruno Errington of Portsmouth. The big guy in the black strip. And the beard leading Mike Moreno, the British mid heavyweight champion, by one submission to nil. With two rounds to go. One public warning against Errington too. Max Ward, the referee, seems to have controlled that situation at the moment. Figure four heads as his two. Elrington, Marino turning into the hole as he so often does and quite neatly out. The body check, but it didn't work for Mike. Now his dangerous move for him to try that. Oh, brick wall is Nice trip by Marino over the top of his side. Plus, beautiful folding. Press from the side there, Marino. I mean, just on that neat little trip with his elbow. Gets the equalizing fall in round five. Ladies and gentlemen, in round five, an equalizing fall to Mike Marino. Well, let me just saying at the interval <laughs> he's complaining to the referee now because of that trip but it was a perfectly legal one well away from the ropes he just was caught on that leg was turned over and he had to go Marino very quick to follow it up one round to go second out sixth last round one each and one public warning against the big man from Portsmouth Bruno Arrington so naturally he's goes back to type now to and his second public warning for doing that on the ropes. Ladies and gentlemen, in the final round, the referee has given his second and final public warning to Bruno Elrington. So that's his last one. Marino leaning towards those. Really a lot to take on. I'd always rather see this man take on somebody if someone near is awake. But to give away four, four, uh, five stone is a little bit strong. Very good. Well, four stone, 13. It's a little bit strong. He's got to resort to holes which he would otherwise probably not use just because of the sheer weight against him. Good head mare to finish there. <laughs> Back to the Marino on as if he needed to. Flying tackle Marino. Can he force his man back? He has. Like the way down and cross press. Can he hold him there? No, not quite. Not quite. Got a count of two then. Bruno trying the same thing, but gets a count of two, but because Marino wanted him to, the shoulder blade coming off when he likes. <laughs> Fortunately resisted. Oh yes, from that 
from headlock. Up from the uh, uppercuts again. Until the headman. Double hander. Not leaving yourselves too much time to get a winner here. Just a couple of minutes to go. In the boat. One each, one fall each. Submission to Arrington in the third. Equalizing fall to Marino in the fifth. And referee Max Ward to leave the boat under control again. be a kind of fight now for the last minute or so I'm afraid just a forearm smash contest and both of them very tired now on the knees and notice Owington continuing the forearm smashes with his man on the ropes and sitting down then too but he still can not stop one minute left I still think that one of the fast Marino tricks, he might just take all into in this last 45 seconds. And one of those very neat, subtle, surprise moves of his. Thirty seconds they've got. Oh, I'm afraid I won't do it now. Last chance now, 10 seconds to go. In the box. Five seconds. It's got to go now or never. Three, two, one. It's all over. All over. So, a one fall each draw. Submission to Elrington in the third, equalized by Marino in the fifth. And Mike Judd, our MC, to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, each man having going to fall, the result of this contest is a draw. Ladies and gentlemen, a hand for each of the contestants, the Southern England heavyweight champion, Portsmouth Big Bruno Alrington. And ladies and gentlemen, giving away a lot of weight, the British mid-heavyweight champion, Mike Marino.